just, uh, just feel better. We'll work something out, okay? Okay, bye. What's your problem? Andrea's got the flu. She can't watch the baby. Call the service. I am. Will you, uh, will you wait till they get here? I gotta take Theo to school. I'll drop him off on my way to work. No, I'll drop him off. I'm late at a crime scene I gotta get to, and I'm already late for. I gotta go by court. You have a baby, they'll understand. We have a baby. Right? We. Don't even start with this, right? You're taking the lead with her, I'm taking the lead with Theo. I help out with Theo. You don't help out at all with Michelle. She sleeps, she eats. What do you want me to do, take her off for a game of catch? You ever thought to change the baby's diaper? Are you kidding no, me? No, I'm asking. Do you ever think to get up in the middle of the night if she's crying or warm up a bottle? No, because you've been obsessed with her and protecting her like a bear with a cub. Maybe for the first week. The whole time. This is an excuse for you not to help out Andy. And you know what? I'm sick of it. As much as I'd rather stay in our happy home here, I got to go to work. And this is what? What, you laying down the law? What you say goes? I'm leaving before I say something I can't take back. Hey, Square. You ready? Are you leaving? Yeah. I'm going to work and you're going to school. But you're coming back? Of course I'm coming back. But you said you were leaving. Theo, I'll never leave you. I love you. Promise? I promise. Okay. Come on, let's go. Yep. Female, no ID. Uh, Jones is talking to the guy who called it in. What is she, Hispanic? Uh, Indian, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Well, we notified bias unit regardless. Uh, ligature remarks on her neck, stabbed, no apparent signs of rape. The contract opened up at 7 o'clock, uh, found her like this, didn't see anybody milling around. You seem legit? Yeah, well, I got his name off on him anyway. Good hey, morning, Andy. Yeah, morning. Uh, crime scene's on the way. We'll start a canvas. Used to have a homeless problem here, but not in a while. Do yourself a big favor. Stay single. You guys brawling again? Stay single. We got an ID on the uh, DOA boss. Samia Yusuf, Pakistani, 18, and lives a block from a crime scene. How'd you get her ID? She was arrested in a stolen car six months ago. The charge was dismissed. Father bailed her out. Uh, there's no answer with the number that he left, so we're heading to the building. Anything on the cameras? Nothing. Yeah, crime scene. They came up empty. Sorry, babysitter problem. I'll, um, I'll put him for the lost time. What problem? Service was booked. What about the other? It's covered. Coffee? Hey, Gordon Dillon. Need to report a robbery? I got robbed, technically. Uh, Detectives John Clark and Andy Sipwitz. Yeah, it's my wife, Sharon. It's an insurance issue, really? Because <laughs> ego wise, I'm good. He got his. <clears throat> In here. Where'd this happen? Uh, 12, near second. Around 12.30, I was coming home from a spark job near Columbus. Guy jumped me. English, please. Arson? Yeah, I'm a claims adjuster. They say it's an electrical fire. I say different. What I say goes. Uh, so you were coming home? The guy probably saw me taking cash from the ATM. It's too late to get cash. I know. Anyway, he grabs me. I spin. Tagged him. Tagged him again real clean, but I'm used to a ring. I'm not used to the sidewalk, so I danced into a trash can and went ass over tea kettle, which is never... We got it. What'd the guy take? Cash. 
and my wife's Bolivar watch that I was supposed to get repaired, which should have already been repaired. It's my fault, no question. Did you get a look at the guy? Yeah, awful dark. Was he white, black, anything about him? <laughs> he went down too quick. Thinking about it, though, blood on the side, what? No, DNA, maybe. Is there any hope of getting the watch back? It, it was an antique. We'll, we'll check with uh, area pawn shops, but honestly, it's a long shot. <sighs> Certainly. Get the insurance. We replace it. My mother gave me that watch. Sweetheart. Honey. All right, uh, you never know what these things. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. Let them take a report downstairs, give a description of the watch. Yeah, we got a photo. Great. Deal away in a hotel on the Tanya Reed will meet you there. Right. We'll get in touch with you in the next few days. Hospital still. Bullet for this guy. Left jab, left cross. Busted chin on nose. Possible. Can you find your own way out? <laughs> Another hand picks lob. Yeah. Couldn't shut her up. I'm saying she made him that way. Yeah, and I'm saying... I don't know what I'm saying. I'll get my coat. I have a sickness in your son. W would you like something to drink? No, thank you. You said on the phone you wanted to talk about my daughter. Uh, yes. If yeah. you don't mind, could you please tell me why? When's the last time you saw her? Last night. And where was she going? To a boy's house. Which boy? Someone she had been dating. <sighs> Do you know his name? I don't like to speak it. Well, how about you write it down or something? What's going on with Samia? I would like to know now, please. <sighs> we found a body, Mr. Yusuf, and we think it might be Samia. Now, I'm going to show you a picture, and you tell us if it's her. I know. I know one day. You know what? I told her to stay away from him. How many times? A thousand. What's her boyfriend's name, Mr. Yusuf? Mike Brand. American boy. I told her. Do you know where this Mike Brand lives? No. And at this moment, I'm glad that I don't. Well, that's good thinking, sir. Now, uh, go home and wait to hear from us. Mr. Yusuf, call this number. They'll tell you when her body's ready to be released. It's not exactly my reaction. One of my daughters got killed. Is Mark Halsey, a bunch of stab wounds. Mark? So tranny pros? No, he's just a snappy dresser. That was a statement, like, I know he's a tranny. Manager? Uh, we haven't talked to him yet. Miles Landon. How you doing, Mr. Landon? Great. You know him? Sort of. You come in much? Yeah, I guess. Do you ever consider writing a play? Because you got a real way with words. Another one down. It's hard to get excited. What do you know about him and no more of your miserable opinions? Went by Lana. Comes in sometimes. Who'd he come in with last night? A couple of different guys. I didn't pay attention. Didn't look up from your porn mag even for a second. When the money is on the counter, I don't gotta look up. You got anything can help find who did it? Well, I was out having a smoke and one of the guys came running out and screeched off in his car. I got a piece of the plate. You're just telling me this now? You didn't ask. And you're being an asshole. Get out of my sight. What kind of attitude is that? Got a cell phone here. You gonna run it? Yeah, I thought I might. I'm just asking. <sighs> We're working, so let's just work. We gonna canvas? Yeah, separately.
Stowaway's dad give us a place to look? She had a boyfriend. We'll run him and snatch him off. Anything on the canvas? Smoking sheets joint. I want to talk. But uh, Andy and John got a hit off the license plate from the hotel manager. Turns out it's Gordon Dillett from this morning. Who? John, get Mr. Dillett settled in the uh, paperwork room, will you? I must say, you do quick work. I commend you. Bravo. This way. This is a robbery victim from this morning with the wife. Thinks we found her watch. Guy's half a nut job. You got a record? Nothing. But seeing who he's married to, you can see the guy just snapping. Yeah, behind every great whore killer. Let's go. So, paperwork for the watch? You ever been to the Glendon Arms Hotel? What's that got to do with the watch? Answer the question. Never heard of the Glendon Arms. You were seen there last night. You know a hooker named Lana? <laughs> oh, Lord. No. It's O, Detective Sipowitz, because I'm who you need now. What happened with the price? <sighs> I guess this can't get back to my wife. Worry about your story. You a fruit? No, absolutely not. You must have flipped out seeing Lana had a dick. Lana? Headed. That was a man, huh? Gordon, we're trying to steer you in a direction where what you did was justifiable. You get that? What I did? I, I mean, we never got to the sex. All right, start when you walked into the uh, hotel room. We, uh... This is embarrassing. We negotiated price. I laid my money on the television. She sat down on the bed and withdrew my... We get it. And then the door burst in. And there's this man standing there with a knife. He demanded all my money, everything out of my pocket, says he's going to keep me in the room until midnight and then take me to an ATM for more money. But they got in a fight, and when they weren't looking, I ran away. What? This man and this... Lana, over my wife's watch, God help me, over who was going to get to keep it. You saying she ran a Murphy game on you? I don't know what that means, but uh, I got the feeling that they were partners. I mean, she called him Randy, wavy hair. And they just let you run away? Well, they were yelling at each other. And then when she went into the bathroom, he followed her in, and I ran. I understand that making a false police report is a crime, but I'm still a victim, and for some reason, you guys aren't treating me that way. Lana was stabbed to death. Oh, my lord. You sure you left when you did? Yes. And this other guy actually exists, because you don't want to waste our time again with another phony robber. Of course he exists. If he didn't, I would. I... I didn't kill her. Any way to prove that? I passed a woman in the hallway. She was in the next doorway. I ran right past her. They were still yelling then. Go talk to her. Up. You're waiting in a cell. A cell? My lord. Come on. Oh. Don't worry. When was the last time you saw Somi Youssef, Mike? It's about Somi. That's why he brought me in. You see, and I just asked you a question referencing her name. Uh, yeah. That's probably a safe bet. Well, what happened? Last time you saw her, Mike. Last night. She crashed with you? No, she went home before midnight. Now, what the hell is going on? She's missing. Well, talk to her dad. He probably shipped her back to Pakistan, guaranteed. Where'd she say she was heading last night? Home, I'm telling you, ask her dad. He's from the old country, man, that whole Muslim law thing. Well, we did talk to him. He hasn't seen her. Well, there's a thing in this world that's called lying. I and mean, come on, guys. So, her dad didn't want you two dating? No. Would you guys go through breakups because of it? Yeah, he wanted her to live like a robot, and he hated my guts. That tends to cause a little friction. Did she try to break up with you last night? No, nah, did we argue a little? Yeah, but we didn't break up. Argued over what? None of your damn business. Now, I don't know where Samia is, OK? I'm out of here. Samia's dead. Oh, my 
my God. Now, why'd you say she was missing? We lied. Well, you guys can go to hell. We need to see what your reaction would be. Yeah? Boy, you ready for asshole? It's my freaking reaction to get maneuvered. And we need to see what your temper's like. All right. Everybody chill out here. Whatever you say, Mike. So me, his curfew was at midnight. And she bolted out of my door about 10 till so she could make it. You know, I went to bed, and that's the last I saw her. You're not gonna mind sticking around while we look into your story, are you, Mike? She's really dead? Yeah. Hey, boss. What did Gordon say? That the tranny whore and her pimp were running a Murphy game on him. He's saying he booked while them two were arguing. Why'd he leave that out this morning? Didn't want his old lady finding out about the tranny whore. We believe him? He's not going anywhere. We'll keep chipping away. Still waiting on the DOA cell phone dump. Gordon said the uh, pimp's name was Randy. Yeah, we're looking to see if that name pops up anywhere in the DOA's records. Can I help you? I need to speak with someone about this Sumia Yusuf case, please. Hi. Detective Jones, Detective Metaboy. Is there somewhere we may talk in private? Sure. Yeah, right this way. <sighs> Sorry, miss. I, I, I didn't catch your name. I prefer not to say. I can only say I am Sumia's cousin. If that is unacceptable, I will leave now. Uh, no, that, that's fine. No one must know we spoke. Whatever you say stays here. Samir's father, Amin. He's my uncle. Earlier today, he told my father that he killed Samir. Wait, uh, Amin killed his own daughter. For disobeying. For bringing shame to him. They call it an honor killing. Now, your dad said your uncle told him this, or I overheard my uncle say it directly to my father. Is your uncle a violent guy, as far as you know? Not before this. Had he made threats to Somia before her death? N not that she told me I should leave now. First thing, we're sorry for the loss of your cousin. You obviously must have been close. And second thing, we really appreciate you coming in. We know it took a lot of courage. Thank you, but I have to leave now. And the third thing, we're going to need your information. I cannot be involved past what I've already done. You just gave us evidence of a crime that makes you a material witness. If we have to, we'll force you to testify. We'd rather it didn't come to that. We'll do everything we can to leave you out of a past this. Please. Detective? Yeah. Detective Clark just called from downstairs and wanted me to tell you he got the tranny process phone records back and there are calls from a Randy, Randy Roop. He said he'd meet you out front in five minutes. Thanks. John. <clears throat> How do you like the apartment? Oh, I love it. It's so perfect. Thank you again for subletting it to me. Yeah. I finally finished painting and my new dining table is being delivered on Saturday. M maybe you could come to dinner next week. I feel like I haven't seen Theo in forever. Everything's OK as far as me living there, right? No, it's just uh, a delegate told me that they're, uh, they're really cracking down on detectives in the same squad cohabitating together. And you know, if I get popped and I had to get my own place again. Oh, that's terrible. It's just some grumblings I've heard. Nothing directed at me and Connie yet or nothing. But in the event that you didn't like the apartment, uh, that would have been an alternative for me. But you like it, so. Detective, if you need to move back in, absolutely, I'd move out. No, if you're settled in, it's yours. I'd find other accommodations. I would never tell you how to live your life or anything, Detective. Good. I'm going to tell the boss we got to pick up this Randy. 
But I wouldn't make any big decisions based on what a delegate says one day. Those things tend to blow over. It's, it's what they say and do over a period of time that counts. I'd give it more time. You know, Mark Halsey, Randy? Sure don't. Took four calls from him last night and no clue. Mark Halsey, training process, also goes by Lana. Yeah, Lana, okay. Didn't know his guy name. What'd you talk about? Wanna go to a movie tomorrow night? What movie? It's three o'clock, okay? Back and forth, like that. When'd you see him or her last? She's dead, right? She died? What do you know about it? Son of a bitch. You have something to do with it? No, but I know who did. That little sweater-wearing fag. His name? Gordon something. Her last trick. The guy slashed her up. He's saying different. Saying what? Me? Saying I did it? Psst. That little psycho. Some balls. Lay out your side, Randy. I did security for Lana. Pimping her out. Protection. I was not her pimp. She was a friend of mine. Yeah, were you protecting her last night? Yeah. I was waiting in the car for her to call with the all's cool, but it never came. So I take a walk inside. I hear yelling, then screaming, and then this Gordon goes sprinting past me, covered with blood. Did you go after him? I went to her, but she... I tried to save her, pump her chest. She was all cut up. Son of a bitch. You ever think to call the cops? She was gone. I had her blood up to my wrist. I panicked. So you didn't run a Murphy game on this uh, Gordon? What? You didn't Murphy him and steal his cash, then keep him to take more cash after it turned midnight? Hell no. Because we got conflicting accounts. On one side, there's the insurance guy. On the other. Oh, so it's automatically me? Look, he wants to throw you a line about some game? Good for him. But you believe him? A guy out whoring? Shame on you. That's deep from a tranny pimp. Anybody back you up? It's unbelievable. My friend got killed. That's my friend. All right, morning the cell. Get up. You ever hear any expression, run in your mouth? No. It means uh, talking too much. And what's interesting is that uh, people who commit crimes, a lot of them end up telling someone else, either because they're nervous or they feel guilty or they're trying to brag. They run their mouth, like you've been doing. Running my mouth? Yeah. We know you confessed to your daughter's death. That is not true. Hell yeah, it is. And that happens to be a crime in this country. This is my home for 10 years. I know what the laws are, and I obey them. Except when it comes to your family. And it's cultural law, right? Hmm? Look, if that's the case, just tell us, and we'll factor it in. Who would tell you I did this? Plenty of people, and they will testify that you admitted to killing her. I didn't kill Samia. She was my daughter, and I loved her. We know you killed your daughter. So if you keep lying, here's another expression. You can kiss your ass goodbye. Talk to her American boyfriend. He hasn't been telling people he killed her. I did not kill Samuel. Did you hire someone to do it? No. Go ahead and keep lying then. But you will get charged with this. And I will be there when you get sentenced. I told people I killed Samia to try and gain respect back. She had ashamed me and my community look at me as a fool. You took credit for killing your daughter. Yes. Bullshit. I mean, you confessed to a crime. And people don't ordinarily confess the crimes they didn't do. That's how we look at it. That's how the courts look at it. So unless you can provide evidence to the contrary, you did it. Now, can you prove you did not do it? I did not kill her. That's not good enough. So Rube never got Dillard to an ATM to get more money? Dillard says he escaped before they could. Great if we had them on security camera. Better if we had a full written confession. So we're on the fence. 
Leaning towards Rupal, we'll see what this Monica that Connie and Rita are bringing in. Monica? When Dillard split, he passed a woman in the next room who saw that he didn't have any blood on him and could still hear Rupal and the DOA fighting, so he says. Hotel manager gave us a place to look for him. Actually, Dan Hoffnagel is his real name. So we're waiting on this Dan Monica and doing background on Dillard. Lieutenant. So, I mean? Downstairs. He went for it. Uh, not to us, but we like him. We got enough for a caller? A direct admission to the niece, cop into it. That's strong. It's not sure. like an ex-con saying it. Uniform found a bloody knife in a dumpster a block from the crime scene. It's on its way to the ME. We'll uh, go canvas where they found it. Yeah, keep the data around. Uh, Detective Sipwitz, uh, Terry Gale return your call. I think he's a co-worker of Gordon Dillett. Yeah. Sipwitz. So, uh, Monica, you at the Glendon Arms Hotel last night? Why? Because we're curious. I just want to know, you looking to bust me for something? Well, you got a guilty conscience? I'm saying my line of work. It's about that. It's about the he, she, pros who got butchered in the room next to yours. Know anything about it? No. I heard about it, though. It's tragic. So you didn't hear it go down? No. You were there when it happened. Next door, paper-thin walls. You didn't hear a thing. I might not have been there when you think I was. We know you were, because someone saw you, Dan. So let's get to the point. Oh, you're going to call me Dan and expect me to cooperate. Cooperate, or we will make this about your line of work, Monica. And it'll bank some goodwill for any future scrapes? It depends on your honesty. I heard a lot of yelling. That ain't a first in that flea bag. And then it went, like, too quiet. You know who was next door? I knew it was Lana. You two friends? Colleagues. You know, seen her around. Did you see who she went in the room with? I didn't see him go in, but after it got quiet, I stepped into the hall, see maybe check up on her. Saw this guy come out of a room with blood on his pants. What'd the guy look like? Short, sweater, a real square. I just froze. What'd you do then? Grabbed my stuff and split. Her being your colleague, it didn't occur to you to call the police? I just figured you'd find him anyway. I mean, I freaked. I split. Anybody else hanging around? On my way out, I passed a guy. I'd seen him around. I don't know his name. He watched out for Lana. Randy. There you go. The guy with the blood on him. Would you recognize him if you saw him again? Yeah, and he should fry. You know, I mean, what? Like, we don't got it tough enough? Write down what you saw. What's your name? Clay Hawes. Hawes. Well, we need your help, Clay. It's Dutch. That's why it's Hawes. If I was German, then it would be Hawes. Got it. Got it. Now, there was a bloody knife pulled from this dumpster a while ago. You know anything about it? Nope. Pay attention here, Clay. Now, this girl was killed last night a block away. All right, come on. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, talk to Derek. Wait, Derek. De Derek knows something about this? He did it. Derek killed this girl? Oh, yeah. Where are we going to find Derek? <clears throat> this is dried blood, Clay. Yeah, Derek, he did it. Oh, don't don't open that. Don't let her out. <sighs> Son, this wallet. How'd you get this, Clay? She tried to kill me. Yeah, this wallet belongs to the girl that was found dead last night. Yeah, she comes running at me. I defended myself. This girl here. She works for Derek. So you stabbed her? I told Derek to stay away from me. Stop sending his spies after me. I've been telling him that for years. First, tell us about Tim Licata. What about him? Did you call my work? You have something to do with him getting fired? No. But you did file a complaint against him for coming out to you when he got fired for it. I got fired for being incompetent. Slapping my ass in the copy room was icing on the cake. How is this relevant? Think about it, Gordon. And think about how it may help you put together a defense. 
You got a problem with gay people. You're not the first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So because I'm such a vicious homophobe, when I saw this Lana was a man, I started slashing away? You making light of it, or are you trying it on for size? Did you even try to find Randy? He says he passed you in the hall covered in blood. What, 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 about, what, what about this woman in the room next door? She backed it up. A lie. That's a complete, total, utter lie. And I'm the Pope. You see, just saying it don't mean much. I had no blood on me. My clothes will have no blood on them. Not perfect, but it's a start. Can we search your place? <sighs> Sharon, she thinks I went to get her watch, and then you'll show up asking for my clothes. You got much bigger things to worry about, Gordon. If there's no blood on them, it'll help your case. Do we have permission to see them? It's the end of my life. Stop whining and start helping yourself. Fine, yes. Search my clothes. We'll be back. Uh, Somia was late for curfew. She took a shortcut home. Yeah, the, uh, the perp, the homeless guy, uh, he was hearing voices along the lines of someone coming to kill him. Their paths crossed. We got the dad and the boyfriend still in custody? Yeah. We'll kick him. Well, it's close. He just gave us permission to search his house. Looked into that transvestite Monica. She got bailed out last year by Randy. Well, does Monica say that she knew Randy when you talked to her? Uh, not like that. And pawn shop on B called in response to that alert we put out on the stolen watch Gordon said was taken during the Murphy game. Shop owner said a white male pawned one this morning that fit the description. The only problem is the guy gave a fake ID and they don't have. They anyone. get him on video. They don't have video, but the description he gave of the seller matched Randy. Uh, Any crime was getting the watch. They should be back by now. You going up to Any crime? Yeah. I was just trying to get to the point. Hey. Come on. You know a Dan Hoffnagel also goes by Monica? No. You don't know Monica, but you bailed her out of jail last year. Sit down. You didn't know her guy name either, huh? Don't see she changed their names all the time. I got confused. When's the last time you saw her? A few weeks. She makes it a few hours. How much speed she on? How much were you on when you busted in on Lana and Gordon Dillett last night? Drug free, boys. And I didn't bust in on anybody. Monica cop to getting coached by you, Randy. Did she? Is that a fact? Time to start positioning yourself on how it went bad. All right. What did Monica get in return for lying to you guys about me coaching her? Get her out from under a warrant? Give them a break, they'll sell you their own mothers. Tranny's a liars about everything. Their own sex, for God's sakes. Oh, you really are a deep thinker, you know? You're quick on your toes, too. Let's see you wiggle out of this. Never seen it before. They got you on the pawn shop camera. The clerk knows your face. Don't look at me for an excuse. You're way out of my league. She lunged at me with the knife. And then stabbed herself 26 times? I tried to calm her down, but she was like, Hey, start over and try being honest this time. It was her idea to Murphy the guy. But I do the legwork, so I say proceeds other than cash to me. She didn't agree. Started yelling, screaming, about to blow it. I'm like, shut up, you dumbass bitch. In 20 minutes, you're going to have another 300. Came at me with the knife. Which you brought in in the first place. She wrestled it off me. Lana was a guy, remember? So she wrestled the knife off you, then she stabbed herself 26 times. What if I said... Nah, it ain't gonna work. Now, this is heavy lifting, Randy, and you're using lightweight machinery. Give it a rest and just tell the truth, why don't you? Here. Done. Can I talk to him for a sec? Is that all right with you, Mr. Yusuf? Keep it civil. So me and I just want him to be together. You should let it go. She's dead because of you. Because of you. What did I just tell you? Right, it was nobody's fault. It was random. It is my fault. 
Hayvanlar da strong enough to make Samia behave like a proper woman. Maybe more. Night. Night. Those can't wait. I don't want to be thinking about them. You lay awake thinking about fives now? I do. Because what you're uh, avoiding will still be there when you get home, regardless of what time it is. Oh, is that how it works? Andy. Got your message. You spoke to the DA. She said that we could uh, drop the watch from the robbery. So, uh, you get it back now? Thought it might help you out with your wife. Can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I suppose your opinion is I deserved what I got. I'm past it, Gordon. And you'd be right. I got very lucky. Good. So you know, sitting in that cell, seeing my life coming apart, I really took stock. And I've got a much greater appreciation for my wife and our home, and I won't jeopardize them again. Sorry it took an extreme circumstance to get me there, but I'm glad it did. Anyway. to a delegate who mentioned a great florist on 2nd Avenue who does lovely things with Gerber daisies. Just passing it on. Night. really nice. Um, Theo's down at Joey's. We pick him up at nine. Baby's asleep. <clears throat> Got these for you. It's very sweet. I, I love Gerber daisies. <laughs> Thought you might like them. Thanks. Oh, this uh, sampler. We got a little bit of everything in there. Thank you. What have we been fighting about? Nothing that matters. Let's don't. Yeah. It's really been hurting me. I don't want to be doing that. There's a reason we moved in together. There's a, there's a reason why we wanted to be together, right? Absolutely. Do you still feel it? More than I think I ever have. That's new for me. And new things, they tend to throw me a little at first. Well, I went from being single, you know, no responsibilities other than my own, to having a family, living with three people. It's, 
It stung me a little too. And stirring that we're both stubborn as hell. Yeah. Andy, I don't want to lose this. I don't either. Let's start.